Hey folks, and welcome to the latest installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, Legendary Gary. So legendary is Gary that his girth is in the annals of folklore. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around 30 minutes. Enjoy! Legendary Gary is an odd game. All the characters have different skin color, like that show Doug. At first I thought Gary's mom was wearing a beauty mask, but nope, she's green, and Isaac is tamale red. I found the premise a tad cringy. Gary is an overweight, unemployed loser approaching 30 who lives with his mother and escapes into the world of video games. Too real, legendary Gary. Too real. The game that Gary retreats into is a fantasy role-playing game called Legend of the Spear. An evil invader has taken over the player character's home and he engages in turn-based battles. It reminded me of Frozen Synapse. Each turn shows what the enemy is planning, and so I was able to counter their moves. I was always one step ahead. Now if this sounds like it makes combat too easy, that's where energy and balance come in. I found that if I used up my energy points or tried to change my stance too quickly, my character would stagger and they'd be vulnerable for a turn or two. Resting takes a turn to regain energy, but at least afterwards I was good to go, so strategic use of rests are part of combat. I found the fights enjoyable, parrying and winding up attacks, choosing which space to move into, and then watching the fight play out in real time at the end. These all helped immersion, but the final piece of the puzzle was the odd choice of alternative rock that plays over the battles. Have a listen. Legendary Gary made me think of Depression Quest because of the way the dialogue trees work. There are options that are grayed out because Gary does not have the motivation to say what he wants to. Choosing a negative answer gives a motivation through frustration, and at the end of the conversation, things were shouted. I like the Popeye nature of this. It's all I can stands, and I can't stands no more. Thanks for watching. One question I have is how much of an effect Gary actually has on the game he's playing besides, you know, actually playing the game, because we're playing the game. We're controlling Gary, who's controlling the game. I don't think it's worth a Garyception joke, but I'll throw that out anyway. Uh, what I mean is there's a part before the last turn-based battle I had when Gary is supposed to be looking after his nephew Isaac, and they're out in the garden and Gary plants a flower. And that flower seemed to have a positive effect on the game world. So I wonder if there will be more effects that uh, Gary has in the real world that affect the game and vice versa if the lessons he learns in the game affect Gary because it does seem, at least at the moment, that the game is kind of the most important part of the game. <laughs> this is difficult to talk about. Also, I get this feeling that, you know, it, things are going to get a lot worse for Gary before they get better. And as I made that joke about a Gary hitting a little too close to home, I relate far too much to his plight. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to continue with this one, even though I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, watching the trailers, I thought this was going to be an adventure game, and it turns out to be a turn-based RPG slash adventure game, or at least um, visual novel type thing. So yeah, if you'd like to help the channel and show me some love, uh, please like the video, please comment on what you thought about the game, what you thought about what I had to say about the game, any improvements you think I can make to the channel in these videos. Please share with your friends if you like the video, I'd love to get some more views on these, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, I hope you're all having a wonderful day.